This question will review some transactions related to the issuance of common and preferred shares. Yang Inc. was organized on January 1st, 2020. It is authorized to issue an unlimited number of common shares and 100,000 preferred shares with a $4 dividend. The following share transactions were completed during the first year. And we're given a variety of transactions and we're asked to prepare the journal entries to record the above transactions. So let's just go through them one by one. So the first transaction is on January 10th. Yang issued 200,000 common shares for cash at $23 per share. Okay, so we've got January 10th is our first entry. We've got issued 200,000 common shares. at $23 per share, which is gonna equal 4,600,000 of proceeds. So what journal entry are we gonna record for this transaction? Well, we know we need to put the common shares onto our statement of financial position. So we know we're gonna go, we're gonna have a debit and a credit and our credit is gonna be the common share of capital common shares, which is part of our equity section on our statement of financial position, 4.6 million. And then the debit is gonna to be to cash because the reason that companies issue shares or equity instruments is to raise cash that they might need for expansion or financing or operations or what have you. So that's our entry for number one. Number March 1st or number two, Yang issued 17,000 preferred shares for cash at $119 per share. Okay, so March 1st, we issued 17,000 preferred shares at $119 per share. And that is going to equal 2 million. You can see how much more we're raising from the preferred shares, even though we, we issued so we issued a lot less. We issued 200,000 here, we issued only 17,000. And we're making over, we're making 2 million versus 4 million. 2023. Still quite a bit. Um, so our entry for this is going to be debit, it's going to be cash, same thing. We issued these shares, so now we have 2,023,000 uh, more cash on our statement of financial position. And then we've got credit. Now, rather than having the credit to common, share, common shares, we're gonna have the credit to preferred shares. 2,023. Okay, so I've got that transaction. April 1st, we issued 3,000 common shares for land. The asking price for the land was 67,000 and its fair value was 60,000. Hmm, this is interesting. We haven't seen a transaction where we issued common shares for land before. So what do you think we're gonna value the common shares at? Are we gonna value them at the asking price or at the fair value? Yes, absolutely, we're gonna value them at the fair value. The asking price is irrelevant. We need to have uh, transactions reported on our balance sheet at the present value or the fair value. Um, and so that's the amount that we're gonna record. So what's the date here, April 1st? April 1st. So we issued 3,000 common shares for land. We issued 3,000 common shares for land with a fair value of $60,000. So our journal entry is gonna be debit. Now, are we gonna have a debit to cash? No, we're not. We didn't actually get cash for the land, but we did get something for the common shares we got. We got land and we issued common shares for the land. And these are both gonna be valued at $60,000. Okay, so we got that one. 
May 1st, we issued 20,000 common shares for cash at $18 per share. Okay, so May 1st, we issued, what is it? We issued 20,000 common shares for $18 per share. 20,000 common shares at $18 per share, which is going to be $360,000. So our entry here, we know this one, it's gonna be debit cash, credit common shares. We need to increase the value of the common shares on our statement of financial position because we've issued more. We've issued 360,000 worth. And you can see we're always just using this common share account. We're not distinguishing the common shares that every, every share in that class is exactly the same regardless of when it was issued. Okay, so we got that one. So August 1st, we issued 1,000 common shares to lawyers in payment of their bill of $19,000 for services rendered in helping the company incorporate. Well, that's interesting. So rather than paying the lawyers $19,000, we gave them 1,000 common shares instead. So let's record this transaction. Okay, August 1st. We paid our legal bill of $19,000 with 1,000 common shares. So here, what's the debit of this transaction? We know the credit is gonna be to common shares. And the fair value of this transaction is the legal bill that we that the lawyers agreed to forgive in exchange for the thousand common shares. So arguably the fair value of that transaction is 19,000, but the debit is not gonna be the cash and it's not gonna be the land like we saw earlier. The debit is gonna be to legal expense. So we still have to report the expense related to those legal fees through our income statement. We're just not going to pay it with cash, we're paying it with common shares. Okay, so that's that one there. Okay, and then September 1st, we issued 32,500 common shares for cash at, six, at $16 per share. Okay, wait a minute, September 1st. Okay, so we've got September 1st, we issued 32,500 common shares for $16 per share which is going to equal $520,000. So we're going to have debit. And here we are receiving cash, credit, common shares. One extra M there. $520,000, $520,000. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got our last transaction, November 1st, where we issued 1,500 preferred shares for cash at $125 per share, okay? So we've got, there we go. So we've got November 1st. November 1st, we're gonna issue 1,500 preferred shares at $125 per share which is gonna equal 187,500. So we're gonna have debit, cash, credit, preferred shares. So we wanna make sure, we need to make sure we're distinguishing the different share types in our financial statement of financial position because every share in that class is exactly the same, okay? It has all the same rights. So making sure that we have preferred shares separated from common shares is really important but we don't have different classes of shares in this question. We're not told that they're class A or class B. So because we're just told that their preferred shares are common shares, they must be exactly the same. All the common shares are exactly the same and all the preferred shares are exactly the same. And so you can see that's how we've been recording our journal entries through. And the one, the one other thing to highlight in this question is just really thinking about where the debits go. So a lot of the times the debits are going to cash because a lot companies often raise 
issue shares to raise cash for different financing or what have you, different business plans. But the debit can also go, we've also seen a debit that went to land where we recorded the, the, the uh, common shares at the fair value of the land. And we also saw a debit where we were exchanging services um, for common shares. And in that case, we recorded the actual expense for the services and the credit still went to the common shares on our statement of financial position. 